good morning today we are going to discuss about 8051 addressing modes 8051 which is nothing but we are going to discuss about the microcontrollers addressing modes we are in the fourth unit now in the first three units already we have discussed about the microprocessors and in the first unit already we had studied the 8086 addressing modes so first of all we want to know what do you mean by addressing modes so addressing modes is nothing but in which way how the data which is going to be represented in the instruction that is called as addressing modes okay so here in 8051 the cpu can access the data in various ways which are called as the addressing modes so here totally there are eight types of addressing modes one is called as immediate addressing modes register addressing modes direct addressing modes indirect addressing modes relative absolute long and then indexed addressing modes so totally we are having eight addressing modes so now immediate addressing mode so immediate in the sense by the name of immediate the data is immediately transferred to that particular instruction we can able to assign the data directly to the instruction which is indicated by the hash symbol so the data is provided as a part of the instruction for example suppose if i am giving move a comma hash 25h so the 25h which is nothing but it is a hexadecimal data and the data which is immediately transferred to the accumulator so this is called as the immediate addressing mode the second type which is called as the register addressing mode so register addressing mode in the sense we are going to transfer that information from the register to either the accumulator or to the register like that okay for example move a comma r0 so r0 which is nothing but a register name so the content of the r0 which is going to be transferred to the accumulator which is called as register addressing modes and the third up which is called as the direct addressing modes so direct addressing modes in the sense here the it allows the specify the operand by giving itself in the actual memory allocation for example move r0 r0 comma 40h so 40h in the sense it is in the location so whatever the content in that particular location directly which is going to assign to the register so that is called as the direct addressing mode we are specifying the location directly okay so 40h is nothing but a location the fourth type which is called as the indirect addressing modes so indirect in the sense the location which is not specified we are going to give the pointer of the location for example r0 is a pointer here at the point of r0 the register is used as a pointer to the data okay so it is indicated by the sim at symbol so it moves the content of the random access memory whose address is held by the r0 so in that r0 whatever the address may be specified that address that content will be moved to the accumulator register that is called as the indirect for example suppose if i am asking you to go to the room number 218 then you people are going to 218 but 218 your data will not be available from there again some indication will be there so from there you have to redirect it to some other in that place only your record may be there i ask you to go and collect your record okay so indirectly i am specifying the address okay go to the room number 218 you are going to 218 the 218 again your record will not be it will be specifying some other location then from that location only your data will be available that is called as the indirect addressing modes next we can say the relative addressing mode this mode of addressing which is mainly used for some type of jump address instructions okay which is going to decrement a and then jump with the no zero if the particular case is not zero only the loop will be executed if the condition is true na it will come out of the loop that is called as the relative addressing okay then absolute addressing the absolute addressing in the sense it is going to control its transfer which is going to specify as a 
label. Then long address. This mode of addressing is used with the L call and the L jump instructions. Normally, it is a three byte instruction which is allowed for the 64K code space. And the last type, which is called as the index addressing modes. So the index in the sense, which is going to take the offset value of that. Okay, so we are going to calculate the effective address from the lookup table. That value will be added with that. So thank you.